Daily Tarot, August the 6th. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you at your reading. Hi friends, my name is Crystal with Psychic MD, and this is your daily reading for Sunday, August the 6th. In the pre-shuffle, which I just started keeping, is the Choose Your Intention, the Emerald. And when I look at this card, you can't help but notice a ton of eyeballs looking at you. And I feel like this could be something that you want to grow, something that it might be in the pre-launch phase. Maybe you're doing a podcast. Maybe you are setting up an Etsy store. Maybe you're trying to basically be an entrepreneur. Any of those would fit that intent. But basically choose your intention. I do feel like you have eyes on you, people that, um, you know, I see a snake eye there, maybe even a chameleon. So people blending into the forest, for lack of a better way of saying it, people that could be pretenders or people that pretend that um, they're not watching you basically are definitely watching you. <laughs> People that nonchalant in your life, kind of like, oh, that? You're, oh, you're still doing that like they don't know? They chalant a lot, believe me. You could have people with just various different motives in there. But also people that are really curious about your transformation. Keep in mind at this point in time that you are a light to many people. And you're going to attract many different things. I think about the light in general at nighttime, how it tracks moths and other critters, other flying creatures that I don't care to try to identify. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's my dog you hear snoring. Remember to practice self-love, this potion. The number 24. So along with your intention, and don't forget to sprinkle cinnamon, on your doorstep to bring you good luck. Choose your intention. Self-love should be at the top of your intention. What else do we have for the daily? For Sunday, August the 6th. We have garden. You could be a garden nymph like my friend. Well, I have a couple of those actually. Something lovely will grow from this, yeah. And I'm seeing that you have the sword of clarity right here. The more that you take care of yourself, the more that your intention becomes self-actualization. So it's a great time to journal, to decide exactly what it is that you want. Maybe even to wear the color green with intention and say, whenever I look at the screen, it's for my heart space to be open, to growth, to change, and welcoming anything that is healthy and balanced. Something like that. It may be even not be so self-protected, self-protective. I see, obviously, like there's a lot of isolation here, but I feel like that is just about to break through. I feel like with these paintings right here in this picture, um, you know, there's nothing there. They are blank slates. So you can basically create whatever it is that you want and enjoy yourself. Part of the fun is funning. <laughs> is kids, we know how to have fun, most of us anyhow. Oh, hi. And then we grow up and we don't fun anymore. We just live to work and work to live. The sword, make the change. So there might be something that you have to cut off or have more clarity about. Meditation would help you gain that clarity as well. Feel free to journal, even ask questions to spirit in your journals and I feel like you'll definitely get the answer but this is a time of self-reflection some of you could literally be cutting your hair changing your physical appearance again a lot of self-love the jumper cards once again I have the sun paint the sun back into your sky so maybe you've been going through a depression a dark moment a dark patch wear clothes that make you feel comfortable make you feel most authentically you do your hair in a manner that feels like it's empowering or it feels right to you. You could be seeing the number 1111, one of my all-time favorite numbers, and voyage. So I feel like this, with setting your intention, will take you places. 
you already have all the answers. So yeah, I feel like Spirit has given you a lot of um, hints and tips and tricks as to what this is in your life in particular. I'm gonna pull one last card. You have everything you need. You have literally everything you need. Oh, okay, so look for the why. Look for the why. Why do you want this? Why do you want that? Why do you show up to work? Why do you live the life that you currently live? And I feel like that's going to really help clarify things and clear your intention. That way you can set them properly. For example, it's not like making more money. It would be, you know, I go to work to make money to pay my bills or whatever. It would be instead, okay, I still need to pay my bills, but I could do what I love or add some difference to it so that my life is not just about work. And maybe you're needing some yang energy. Maybe you're feeling fizzled out lack of energy just keep in mind to be flexible you definitely got this I feel like this was a really big message <laughs> stay flexible with the number 10 you have a big beginning here coming up and then I have a face here and that egg it's almost like the cosmic egg all roads lead to this so there are no accidents exactly what you have done and what you've chosen was meant to be the good, the bad, the ugly. Those are hard to believe sometimes, but I feel like there's always a lesson in what we do. Much love to you. I hope this helped. Until next time, namaste.